Howdy folks, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am your host, The Mighty Bjorn, and today for you I have a new Community Steel video, and let's kick off today's video with the Prototype 121 from Big Bad S. Definitely a Soviet, heavily influenced design here. Uh, I do believe there actually was a Prototype 121, but I might be mistaken. And we're just going to roll around a bit and shoot some stuff on on Taiga once again because this is a late war vehicle and honestly I prefer actually running Taiga with the late war vehicles over fields I don't know just the map feels better not quite sure and there we go take out a nice Carnarvon there nice side shot and this vehicle's actually got a decent reload pretty good uh, pretty good mobility and armor although uh, one issue I did have is I <laughs> one of them got stuck on a tree so yeah, yeah, good old, uh, good old, good old physics in the game right now. Never let you down. Okay, yeah, they do, but whatever. Aiming up on another Carnarvon here, which I think must be already dead. So let's traverse the gun around and shoot what was shooting behind me. And yeah, it's already over. The next vehicle is the D7B from Swafer and I am running fields on this one which it didn't turn out well because I got tracked almost right out of the gate and the vehicle's got explosive reactive armor as you're going to find out here shortly when one of the barrels explode but once again fighting Carnarvons and fighting P40s uh, yeah there we go there's, there's the fire that's uh, kind of blocking the gun sight here but the model actually is really good. I don't show it too much here, but you can actually grab a good good screenshot of uh, what the vehicle looks like in the Sprocket Community Discord page if you go looking for the D7B, as well as, well, it's very British looking, I think. I'm not quite sure. He's definitely got it marked as a British tank, but... It doesn't feel quite British, but it feels British. I'm not sure how to put it. It's kind of an oddball. It feels kind of more like a tank destroyer than a tank. And the gun is actually rather quite good, but this is uh, just one of those. This was a bad situation as basically just outnumbered 10 to 1. So, yeah. The next vehicle is the HTD-12 from Almania, Almania, sorry, Almania, and this is his flying UFO, or her flying UFO, not quite sure, but it is a flying UFO, or rolling UFO, uh, scratch my head, I'm not quite, quite sure, but it is a turretless tank destroyer, and it's got a big mean old gun, it definitely does have a big old mean old gun. And uh, actually, it does quite good at bouncing shots, too, because the armor is actually quite heavily angled. It, it has some decent mobility. Now, the one thing I did find interesting is it kind of has sort of like an E25 suspension, but it's not really an E25 suspension. I don't know. This just kind of, kind of like a really weird design. As you can see, the sides actually hang out over, and it... I, when I first saw it, it just reminded me of a stealth plane because of its shaping and its color. It just kind of has like that old, like, uh, I think it's the F-117 shape and feel to it. I'm not quite sure why. It's just, it is a pretty cool looking tank in my opinion for an original design. And it definitely like works well within the limitations of what we currently have in the game. I mean, we really don't have a lot of stuff yet to build different types of designs, especially something more original. And this is a definitely a more original design that I don't think I've seen anybody build anything quite similar to this yet. So it was definitely cool to see. The last, uh, well, it's, it's a boat. Yeah, check it out. I'm man in a boat. Giggy, giggy, giggy. Or is it really a boat? Is it a boat? It's got to be a boat. It sits on water like a boat. It moves through water like a boat. So it must be a boat. And. 
and then it drives on land like a tank. <laughs> this is, this is, he just calls it boat from Massimo Ultra. And this is his German boat. He's actually made a couple boat designs, but I picked specifically this one because it was his first design. I actually really like the color and the design of it. It is definitely a really gnarly looking vehicle compared to some of the other stuff I've seen out there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of people that are like trying to make cars and stuff like that. Then this guy makes, uh, well, he made a boat. It's a very cool boat. Looks like a mini yacht. And then, of course, because I'm old and shit and not paying attention, I end up getting stuck right about here. Oh, yeah. One of these days, I'm not going to get stuck on something when I make one of these videos. But uh, today is not that day. Anyway, folks, that's it for this Community Steel vehicle. I'm a uh, vi uh, that's it for this community steel video. I'm only going to show off four today, but I'm sure I will have some more community steel videos in the near future. Hopefully you all enjoyed seeing the different projects that people have been making within the Sprocket community. Anyway, folks, have yourself a nice day.